The following presentation of the Mass is made possible by your generous support of the Catholic TV Network. The Catholic TV Network welcomes and invites you to celebrate the sacred mysteries, listen to God's Word, and in the Holy Eucharist, proclaim the victory of Jesus over death until He comes in glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. I'm Father John Chan, the pastor of Our Lady of Sorrows, sharing. And today with us is Monica Lafont, the uh, Director of Religious Formation. It's always good to, to, get, to be together to pray, to worship our God, the one who loves us. Just like his master, Paul, has a mission, a mission to tell the Galatians to make changes in life, to come back to the Lord, to follow the Spirit, so to prepare ourselves to be ready to hear the Word of God and to deepen our faith in Jesus. Let us pause a moment and ask God for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. 
Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fail. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without looking, overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and gratings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens harder to carry, but you yourself do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I was meditating on today's readings, a book I read a long time ago when I was still teaching in Beijing, came to mind. It's called The Seven Habits of the Highly Effective People, written by Stephen Covey. Jesus was so proactive and outgoing, even was so willingly to be with the Pharisees. So the first habit was proactive. Jesus was the way. I guess Stephen got in, inspired from Jesus for saying this. Jesus never tr really loses any, some, uh, any opportunities to be with the people, to teach them the kingdom of God, and in the meantime, to invite them to make changes in life. Jesus had his mission in mind, has his end in mind all the time to let people know the kingdom of God. Therefore, today, he's telling the Pharisees to make changes. Three woes to them, certainly a great reminder 
of the real lives of all of us as well. In order to be in God's kingdom, and we have to keep the end in mind, the kingdom is a must. He told the Pharisees not to pay attention to the teeny tiny things in life, even the tithes of the herbs, but to pay attention to the last judgment, to the love of God. And he also tells them not to take pride in themselves in what they are doing, instead of to be humble, not to be admired or respected even in public places. Only God deserves this. He also reminds them to make changes in life, to be true to themselves. They cling outside, they need to cling inside as well. Brothers and sisters, we are followers of Jesus Christ, and we know the end is to be with God, our Savior. And we pray that all of us can do well, listen to the word of Jesus, and walk with our Lord Jesus. Be proactive and keep the kingdom of God always at the beginning of everyday life. Confident in God's love and mercy, let us offer our prayers of needs. In gratitude to the living God, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who protect our safety and support our health, may they be granted protection and wisdom, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For young people throughout the world, may they not become trapped in systems of oppression and destruction, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For adult children and their families, may they find new balance and responsibility as their lives become more independent, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and suffering in mind, body, and spirit, may they be filled with the blessings of the Lord and find more peace, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all... Father. We thank you for being with us today to teach us and to hear our prayers. And we ask you to hear and answer them according to your divine will. We ask that through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and a redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with all the angels and the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we proclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered a wailing in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into wine by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Sean our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Confident in God's love and mercy, let us say the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and see from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Friends, may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace with you. Peace, peace, peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say, say the word, word my, my soul, soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let us pray. We entreat your Majesty, most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment, which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, friends. Thank you. We have worshiped God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord has invited us to the altar, and this great prayer has brought benefit to ourselves, the church, and the whole world. Please help the television mass to continue by sending a donation to Bishop Reed, the Catholic TV network, P.O. Box 9196, Watertown, Massachusetts, 02471. Join us anytime on Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire, or watch and contribute online at catholictv.com.